Hi guys, Dave here from Carbon Click. We're getting lots of customers reaching out to us asking what does the IPCC climate change report mean uh, for them? And so we thought it was probably worth spending a few minutes just explaining that, um, breaking down what it is, what it means for you and the solutions that it presents. First of all, who are the IPCC? Well, Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change is a group of the world's best scientists, often working voluntarily and partly funded by organizations like the UN and the EU, uh, who get together to analyze the data that we use to understand climate change. And they scrutinize that, argue about it amongst themselves, and then decipher what does it actually mean? And they come to an agreement on uh, what, uh, what that does mean. And they tell us, they tell us what parts that they understand clearly and what parts they're uncertain on. They publish all of the scientific results and they even break down into a really dumbed down version, uh, simple enough for politicians to understand, which they politely call the summary for policymakers. Um, and this is what the media generally read as well. If you're unsure about any of the um, items in the report, if you want to have a read, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I love the science behind all of this. What are the key findings for the IPCC report, though? Well, in the past, there have been arguments because 1% of the scientists or a very small proportion um, have disputed some of the figures that they're basing climate modeling on. And when there are disputes, uh, those uh, climate change deniers, the oil company execs, conspiracy theorists, they jump on this data and it causes a um, huge amount of disruption and uh, distraction from actually the cause and the results, which have still remained the same. Now, what they've done in the most recent IPCC report is they've focused on um, eliminating the errors, areas where we had some confusion before. Some of that was why in the 80s and 90s um, didn't climate change uh, increase in temperature um, corresponding directly to the carbon. And there was some cooling effect from CFCs for example, the same CFCs that caused our ozone hole and skin cancers. So it's certainly not a solution there. Um, and where we're getting some of the measurements from ocean uh, temperatures uh, versus surface air temperatures above oceans, silly semantics that really didn't make much difference in the greater scheme of things. Um, they've certainly eliminated that now and we've got consensus across the scientific community. We're certain that humans have caused climate change. We're certain that it's going to get worse and we're certain that the amount that it gets worse depends entirely on what we do um, and the scale of action that we take, particularly how quickly we take action. It also identifies that these 2050 government targets, they're just not, uh, not practical. We need targets for the next two or three years um, and certainly for the next decade, uh, not 2050 targets. And, and what do I mean by exponential? Well, it's climate catastrophe versus climate change. Um, we're already seeing the forest fires um, and the heat waves, the uh, unprecedented storms and flooding. Now, this is going to still get a little worse, but it could get 10 times worse if we're not careful. For example, for every one degree in temperature rise, pine forests have a 750% increase in the likelihood of succumbing to forest fire. So every single kilo of carbon that we can reduce or offset counts. What can we do about it? Well, particularly in e-commerce, which is an area I'm passionate, uh, we can look at our freight choices, educating our market about um, uh, maybe sea freight and postal versus air freight and courier, um, looking at the packaging carbon footprint, whether we can um, encourage customers to buy less often, but buy higher volumes so that they're getting less deliveries to the door. These are all considerations that, uh, that you can change right now while you work on longer term considerations like where are, my carbon, uh, where are my products coming from and what's the impact of those? Can I actually change my suppliers or the types of products that I'm working with? And what's the role that we play at Carbon Click? Well, we're certainly helping to restore our planet through connecting you with the world's best quality carbon offsetting projects, ones that you'll fall in love with and your clients will fall in love with. We have tools like our green button that sits on your e-commerce cart, we call it climate friendly cart, 
where your customers can, with a single click, add a carbon offset to their purchase um, to offset some of the multitude of emissions uh, that we're creating every single day. And we provide transparent track and trace receipts so that they can see that their dollar or two has gone directly to those projects and they can learn about those projects. And that also builds loyalty back to you as the store owner um, and alignment because those customers are participating in your sustainability journey. If there's anything else that I can do to help you, please reach out. Uh, carbonclick.com is our website and uh, would love your feedback. Thank you.